Hello friends, welcome back to Pharmacam Insights. In today's video, we will learn how UV and PDA detectors work in HVLC. These detectors are the most widely used in pharmaceutical and analytical labs. So let's understand them step by step. Let's first see the principle of UV detector. It works on the principle of Pierre Lambert's law where absorbance A is equal to epsilon into C into L where epsilon is equal to molar absorptivity C is equal to concentration and L is the path length. This means the detector measures how much UV light is absorbed by the sample passing through the flow cell. A UV detector measures how much ultraviolet light that is UV is absorbed by compounds as they pass through the HPLC column. Now let's see the working of UV detector in HPLC. You can see the schematic diagram of UV detector on right hand side. It consists of lamp, a slit, then a grating, then one more slit and a flow cell and light sensor. These are the components of UV detector. Let's see each component one by one. First is light source. It usually a deuterium lamp for UV region 190 to 400 nanometer or a tungsten lamp for visible range 400 to 700 nanometer. Light passes through its slit on grating. In grating, it splits the light into different wavelengths at different angles like a rainbow on the second slit. You can see in the diagram. Wavelength selector. In the second slit or monochromator, it selects a single wavelength. Suppose you want to select a wavelength of 273 nanometer. That particular light generated by diffraction gating will only pass through second slit and then it will enter into flow cell. Flow cell. Flow cell is the compartment through which mobile phase carrying analytes passes. When the Analytes enter into flow cell, it can absorb light falling onto it. Detection. If analyte absorbs UV light at that wavelength, the intensity of transmitted light decreases. Whatever light absorbed will be measured by the light sensor or detector. You know in HPLC, light absorbed is reflected as electrical signal. Signal output. The detector compares transmitted light versus reference and converts it into an electrical signal which sees as a peaks in chromatogram. Use of UV detector in HPLC. So it is used for quantification of compounds that have UV absorbing functional groups, example aromatic rings and double bonds. Now let's see the principle of PDA detector that is diode array detector. It works on the same absorption principle as UV but instead of just one wavelength it simultaneously records multiple wavelengths that is spectrum. Now let's see the working of PDA detector in HPLC. You can see the schematic diagram of PDA detector on right hand side. It consists of a lamp followed by a slit then a flow cell followed by diffraction grating then photodiode arrays. You can see here flow cell is before diffraction grating whereas in UV detector it was after diffraction grating. These are the components of PDA detector. We will see each component one by one. First is light source. Light source is same as UV detector deuterium lamp for UV and tungsten for visible region. Polychromatic light, entire light beam passes through the flow cell not filtered to one wavelength like in UV. The light emitting from flow cell fall on diffraction grating. You know the function of diffraction grating is splits transmitted light into different wavelengths like a prism. Photodiode arrays. A row of many diodes captures the whole spectrum 190 to 800 nanometers simultaneously which is kept at the top. 
you can measure the absorbance at different wavelength 200 to 800 nanometer in pda detector signal output pda detectors gives not only peak intensity but also uv spectra of analytes uses of pda detector in hplc it is used for peak identification by comparing spectra it is used for peak purity analysis to check any coevolution peak it is also used for structural characterization support now let's see the key difference between uv and pda detectors first is wavelength wavelength is single and fixed in uv detector while in pda detector it is multiple means it can scan 190 to 800 nanometer sphere simultaneously information we get from uv detector is peak area and height while in pda detector we get peak area height plus spectral data peak purity check is not possible in uv detector but it is possible in pda detector cost of uv detector is lower while it is higher for pda detector in short uv detector measure absorption at one wavelength while pda detector records the whole absorbance spectrum giving more information about analytes thank you i hope you like the video if you found it helpful please like share and subscribe my channel and also show your support in the comment section bye